Here we go. The circus is like the spy game. Nothing is what it seems, and it's usually worse. What are we looking for? I don't know. Just got a message to be at the circus and wait for a contact. Have a look round and see if you can spot anybody that doesn't belong here. The trouble with informers is they only tell you half the story. So if they get caught, they only get half the blame. Why the suit? Going to the ballet. The ballet? I've got a date, a special date. just happened. Either we got what we came for, or well, that clown just stole my wallet. It's a check. We're hired. Yeah. i got to go. I'll see you in the office in the morning. OK. <laughs>
До свидания, девочки. Для вас, тетя Маша. Ник. Hi. Hi. How are you? How did you like it? Uh, you missed it again. I can't believe it. Well, I had to go to the circus. The circus? Yeah. Well, Harry said to meet me at the circus, and I do work for him, so I, I had to be there. I've never met this Harry Palmer, but when I do, I'll have something to say to him. But I did see you in the finale, and you were fantastic. <laughs> Tatiana! Hi. Remember me? Sure I do, Brandy. I've been reading your articles. They're wonderful. Thank you. I haven't met your friend. Oh, Nick. Hi. Hi there. Well, I'd like to interview you. The inside story of a ballerina in Moscow. But I'm leaving for St. Petersburg tonight. Well, why don't I meet you there? Good. Nice to meet you, Brandy. All right. See Bye. Счастливы, девочки. Пока, Татьяна. What's the matter, Nick? I don't want you to miss your train. What's going on? Nothing. Ваш билет, пожалуйста. Угу. Так. Спасибо. Хорошо, проходите. Проходите. Write to me, Nick. Call me. I'll do better. I'll see you next week. Wonderful. What's even more wonderful is Harry's thinking of opening an office in St. Petersburg. That's great news. Take care. You too, Nick. Don't forget to lock your door. I will. I'll do blue TV. I'm going to St. Petersburg a little earlier than I thought. Следовал в свой офис. Здесь дальше по вашим инструкциям. This is the note that I received. 1,000 grams of enriched plutonium A232 missing from facility St. Petersburg. 
find it. That's enough to make three atomic bombs. How on earth would you smuggle something as radioactive as that? For a start, it had better be well insulated. That's deadly stuff. Does it say anything about how much we're going to get paid? Yeah. $250,000. Let's see if it bounces. Greta, take it to the bank as soon as possible and see if it clears. Now, gentlemen, where do we start? My KGB contacts could be useful here. My friends at the CIA could tell me something about customer interest. We have Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, North Korea. They all have a shopping list. Mm -hmm. And just which international terrorist organization are Libya and Syria supporting this month, huh? Where's Nick? Haven't seen him since yesterday. He had a date last night. A date? Yeah. And who is she? I've met her. She's a knockout. Is there any other business? We have an old problem, and that's Alex. But who's Alex? A big shot from St. Petersburg and bad news. Real bad news. You know, he's been to Moscow, Harry. He's been asking about us. Louis tipped me off. He could be trouble. Louis? Louis is everybody's friend and neighborhood informer. Fits all. It is a collect call from St. Petersburg. That's OK. We'll accept the charges. Oh, Nick. Hello. How are you? Nick, it's me. What are you doing in St. Petersburg? It's Tatiana. She's in trouble. Already? Harry. This is serious. I'm at her parents' home. I'm going to stay here for a while to protect her. Listen, I'm coming to St. Petersburg. I'll, I'll tell you why when I get there. I'm on the overnight train. Meet me at the station, OK? I'll be there. Take care. Bye. Oh, it is a special delivery. Be careful, Harry. Could be from Alex. Oh, shit. How about that? He dropped it. From Alex with love. Внимание! Поезд номер 122 из Адлера прибывает первый платформ. A thousand grams of plutonium. Yeah, worth ten million. Give or take a million. Who are we working for? Still a mystery. The check was good, but it was drawn on a number to count. We do know who the informer was. Louis. Right. Now, what's the problem with this new girlfriend of yours? Somebody's after Tatiana, and I don't know why. Here she comes now. I haven't told her anything about it. Okay. Hi, Nick. Hi, Tatiana. Meet Harry Palmer. Hello. Nick works for you, and he works too hard. That's why he's always late when he has to meet me. With us, you're his excuse. I'll take the luggage, you get in the front seat. 
What's her driving like? You'll see. Get in the front. I'll drop you off at your hotel. Then I have to pick up my father at work. Tatiana's father works at the Hermitage. He's a senior curator. Everybody knows the Hermitage has the most valuable art collection in the world. Does your father get to take home any samples? <laughs> I wish he did. Она везет их в гостиницу. Дальше мы следим за ней. Why don't we have dinner together tonight? Wonderful. Where should we go? Leave that to me. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Спасибо. Bye, Tatiana. See you at eight. I thought you said she was in danger. Watch. Friends of mine, I should have known. You have a message, Mr. Palmer. Oh, thank you. Find out if they'll see us right away. I use a house phone. Okay. You must be Harry Palmer. Why must I? Well, your friend Louis, he gave me a picture. Oh, Louis's everybody's friend. It's his profession. I'm Brandy. Hello, Brandy. What do you do? I'm a freelance journalist. And I also write for the Neva News. We come out weekly, mostly in, uh, in English. What are you trying to do, sell me a subscription? Oh, no, much more. I want an exclusive interview. I'm doing a series of articles on crime in Russia, and I'm hoping to get them syndicated in the United States. Your friend Louis, he told me you could help me. I never do interviews, Brandy. I'm in the private investigation business. Publicity can be dangerous. Now do I look like I could be dangerous? All ladies can be dangerous, Brandy. Hello, Brandy. Hi, Nick. What are you doing here? Well, I'm still trying to get that interview with Tatiana. You haven't seen the last of me, Harry Palmer. And I warn you, I don't take no for an answer. She doesn't take no for an answer. She wants to interview me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He'll see us whenever we like. Let's go. Okay. I've learned one thing about doing business in Russia. Stay friendly with the cops. The higher up, the better. Mr. Palmer, General Kornikov, uh, this is my associate, Nikolai. Nikolai Petrov, Ochin Privatno. You speak Russian? My father was English. I was brought up in England, but I am Russian. Interesting. I understand you have friends in high places in Moscow. I've been uh, useful to them, and one good turn deserves another. Indeed, but uh, this is St. Petersburg. Matters are different here. Yes, sir. I heard you've been getting right on top of the crime situation here. It's much worse in Moscow. Before we go any further, gentlemen, I don't welcome any private investigation companies in my city. I hope we might work together, sir. I don't think so. Our present government, in an epidemic of privatization, allows enterprises like yours. But I do believe that this work should be left to those who have experience, training, and ability. Well, then, let us help. <laughs> Let me warn you from the start. If you break in any way the law, I will have you arrested. We're only trying to do our job. Being a foreigner, Mr. Palmer, you may find it hard to understand. We Russians, and particularly the citizens of St. Petersburg, are proud 
very proud people. We can take care of our own problems. Don't become one of them. Do you think he liked us? If he did, he concealed it very well. And what do we have here? Harry Palmer, you're still alive. No thanks to you, Yuri. What are you doing in a police station? Turning yourself in, I hope. No such luck, Harry. See you, Yuri. You think you still got that contract out on me? Cost more than $300 to kill you now. Inflation. Yuri could be useful. Yuri? He wants you dead. There's somebody more important and dangerous than me that he wants dead. Alex. Right. Why did you bring us here, Harry? I wanted to cover the town in one night. Everyone comes here. It's our job to know what's going on, Tatiana. What do you think of the food, Harry? The borscht was cabbage, no beetroot, and there wasn't a bloody caraway seed in it. It's still the most expensive restaurant in St. Petersburg. That's why only the Mafia can afford to come here. Hence our friend Yuri over there. And we have some more company. Hello, Harry. Hi, Brandy. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine from New York. This is Dr. Vestry. Harry Palmer. Pleasure. Nikolai. This is Tatiana. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Well, you guys have a good night. Tatiana, I'll talk to you later, okay? Fine. So, she's back in St. Petersburg. Yeah, we bumped into her at the hotel. She wanted to interview Harry. She has good connections. And she seems to know a lot of people here, too. This place is full of gangsters. It's just part of the new free market system. They call it free enterprise, but they're bloodsuckers, living off the blood of other people. I was brought up in London during the black market, so I'm used to it. If you excuse me. Are you all right, Nick? Yeah, it should be fine. What's this all about? The Mafia. Why didn't you pay them? I did. What's the problem? Wrong Mafia. Oh, that figures. I'm a doctor. Uh, Take a look. Uh, Flesh wound. Uh, Nothing serious. Nothing serious? What do you call this? It's a good thing we had a doctor in the house. There was a doctor. Now I'm an international art dealer. Oh, really? Come on. Let's go. Harry. Bye. Harry. I can't find Tatiana anywhere. Hello. Listen very carefully. 
We have your daughter. She's in a safe place. If you do exactly what you're told to do, she will be returned to you safe and unharmed at midnight on Friday. If you go to the police or tell anyone about this, you'll never see her again. Who is speaking? Hello? Is Tatiana here? No. Uh, she was with you. Yes. I'm afraid she's disappeared. God help us. You were responsible for her safety. I know. I'm sorry. Has anyone telephoned you? Nobody. I'd better get in touch with the police. General Kornikov. No. It is a parent's duty. I know General Kornikov. OK. Is there somewhere else she could have gone? Uh, her ballet friends. I'll find out. What are we going to do? We have to wait. Harry, there's a fax from Vienna, the Atomic Energy Authority. You are absolutely right about the plutonium. The message and the check came through their secret undercover branch. Now the authority wants us on the job immediately. It's official. Goes on to say, Pakistan, Iran, Iraq, and the old Carlos group, though they don't have any money, are all believed to be in the hunt for the plutonium. The deal is set to close within 48 hours in St. Petersburg. I make that uh, midnight Friday. Any leads? The informant may be able to help. And who's that? Louis. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Oh, a word of warning. There's been a leak in Vienna, and the Russians know that we've been hired for it. Oh, and you had another message from Boris, an old friend at his home. Said he needed to talk to you urgently and that you knew the address. speak to General Kornikov. I'm leaving for an appointment. Last night, a girl was reported missing. Tatiana Zavarzina. Her father phoned you. Have you any news of her? I received no call. I know nothing about this. Well, is there anyone else he might have called? If you want to report the missing person, I suggest you go to the front desk like anyone else. Harry Palmer and let him in. Nadia, he's a friend. <coughs> Mamachka. Harry, my wife and child. Welcome to our home. How do you do? Harry, <coughs> I knew you'd come. What's the matter? They are dying, and I have killed them. You what? But how? sample of unreached plutonium was required by a customer in Zurich. They hired me as a courier, just two grams. I carried it just here in my pocket. Without protection? Are you crazy? Nobody warned me. 
I came back from Zurich and there was a rush on my chest. And then doctors told me the truth. Anyone who'd been close to me could be dead within six months. And you? There is a hole in my chest. I think I have just a few weeks to live. Who sent you to Zurich? Who did you meet? Tell me. Money isn't of use to me anymore. Harry, you'd better ask Louis. Is there anything I can do? No, thank you. <laughs> Nothing to be done. Very welcome. I heard you were back in St. Petersburg. Forget what you heard. I'm not here. Not to worry. I know how to be discreet. Why don't we take a little walk? There are some people I don't want to see. Maybe Alex. He's in town. Or Yuri Stepanovich. I heard you're not exactly very popular with either of them. You hear a lot, Louis. Maybe too much. Yes, but I can be of some use. Especially to an old friend like you and not expensive. I pay by results, but I do pay. I gather we have mutual friends in Vienna. You got the message? I got the message. And the money? Yep, I got the money. I saw Boris this morning. You know he's dying. Yes, I know. He told me to talk to you. I'm looking for somebody with something to sell. <laughs> it could be anybody in Russia. But a seller needs a buyer. That's what a free economy is all about. We're looking for a buyer with money. Lots of money. People with money in Russia don't advertise. So where's the plutonium, Louis? I don't know, Harry. I really don't know. There's somebody in St. Petersburg who knows the country or organization that want to buy it. They're looking for the right person to contact. So am I. The situation is very dangerous, Harry. What's happening here in Russia, you could get yourself killed. So what else is there? Don't say I didn't warn you. I may be able to help, but it may take some time. We haven't any time. Louis? Meet me tomorrow at noon. Where? The Moskovsky Prospect, by the Statue of Lenin. I'll be there. Fits all. Oh, hi, Harry. How are things in St. Petersburg? I'm under something. But the opposition may be under me. Don't be surprised to hear that I'm leaving for Moscow. <laughs> Go ahead, surprise me. Tatiana's missing and her father doesn't go to the police. He must have a reason. I'm going to stay close to him. Sorry, I've got to go back to Moscow, Nick. You better hurry up, you'll miss your train. Yeah. Good luck with it. <laughs> Take care. Ladna. Пришло время о 
told you, Louis. I'm looking for a load of stolen plutonium. I'm waiting, Louis. You're the second person to ask that question, Harry. What do you mean? The other person is very dangerous. Who was it? You've heard of Herr Schreiber from Berlin? No. That name doesn't ring a bell. What's his organization? What's his organization called? You must promise me, Harry. If they ever found out that I told you... Do it. Do it. You know that Hermitage is the biggest museum in Russia. It was once the Winter Palace of the Tsar. Collections of the Hermitage include Western European art, French art, antique art, which boasts the right Dr. Vestry. Nicholas. Uh, Nikolai. Nikolai. Are you interested in art? Well, yes. I'm an art dealer. I've got galleries in Paris, uh, New York, Montreal. I was just planning on taking a few pictures of the museum's treasures. Unfortunately, some of them aren't on display. The best of the Rubens, the Van Dykes, the Rembrandts, pick of the Impressionists, they're all on loan. Thank. Too bad. There's still plenty to see. You know, they say that if you took one minute to look at each exhibit, it would take eight years to see the entire collection. Amazing. Yes, it is. And your friends the other night, how are they? Oh, Harry's back in Moscow. And the young lady, um, Tatiana? Tatiana. Tatiana. Yeah, she's fine. Good. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ostorožnjo. Tradicija akuratno. We spoke earlier on the telephone. Who are you? My name is Hans Schleimer. I'm glad you're doing the work you're doing because... Uh, it means that maybe you'll be put together with your daughter again someday, huh? Bloody hell, good luck in the Russian Grand Prix. That's it. I have an appointment. Passiva. Stop. Stop. I'm here to see Mr. Stefanovich. Propusti, propusti его. Mr. Palmer, we meet again, despite my warning. I wasn't expecting a warm welcome. I missed you. You should be dead. An unlucky shot. Next time I won't miss. Ah! Oh. Does that hurt? Yes. Good. I have a back problem. It's the knives. They tend to irritate. You mean I have enemies? Don't we all, Yuri? Very true. They told me you left St. Petersburg. They are frequently wrong. Mr. Palmer, we met some time ago under difficult circumstances. I thought we were on the same side, but you double-crossed me. An unfortunate necessity. 
I told you then that a friend of Alex is no friend of mine. Oh, that should make us best buddies. You double-crossed us both. Next time, I shall be more careful. Why have you come to see me? I may still prefer to have you killed. Well, I'll take the risk. I, I, I need some information. I understand that very little goes on in St. Petersburg that you don't control or know about. No longer true, I fear. The new attitude of the police has brought us some unwelcome competitors. The trouble with free enterprises that has become very expensive. I sympathize. Al Capone had the same problem in Chicago. Those were the days. I watched the old movies on cable TV every night. Do you ever watch the news? Suppose I was in the market for a major consignment of enriched plutonium that was up for grabs. Mr. Palmer, that was not on the news. All right, then. Where would I find out about it? I understand you were talking to Louis, but the conversation got interrupted. Did you have him killed? My best friend? <laughs> that would be Louis's epitaph, everybody's best friend. If you help me to find out who killed Louis and locate the plutonium, I might demonstrate my gratitude. The best way would be to clear some competition out of St. Petersburg. I won't forget. I hope you don't forget. I shall investigate. And Mr. Palmer? Yeah? Don't hesitate to ask for my help. Should you develop a back problem? Does she do fronts? Get out of here, Harry. Миша, набери мне Шрайбера. Присоединяйтесь к нам. Мы с вами находимся в одной из картинок галереи Эрмитаж. Вы знаете, что Эрмитаж является крупнейшим музеем России. Внутренний убран... Амант! Брэнди, nice to see you. I'm glad you can make it. Mm. Well, I wouldn't miss a guided tour by a real expert. <laughs> Take a last look at some old friends. They're being created today and they leave for Japan tomorrow. Mm. The curator gave me special permission to be here. Look at this. It's a Rembrandt. Mm. Portrait of an old man in red. How much is it worth? It really depends on the market. But this over here is the star of the show. Leonardo da Vinci's Madonna Lita. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you expect a little more in the way of security around here? Everybody wouldn't worry. We're being watched on video all the time. Well, then it's a good thing we're not planning a robbery, huh? <laughs> Perished <the> thought. <laughs> That's all. Craig? Hi, Nick. I need to speak to Harry as soon as he arrives. Can I take a message? I've just faxed you a photo of a man. He's staying in a hotel. He's given an address. Berlin. Name is Hans Schreiber. Get in contact with some of your FBI and CIA guys. And see what you can come up with. Okay, will do. And there's another man by the name of Armand Bestry. Said he was a medical doctor. But he now works as an art dealer. With galleries in Montreal, Paris, New York. I'll tell you what, I'll run checks on both of them. There's still no sign of Tatiana. I'm working on it. Craig, I need this as soon as possible. Call me back. Dr. Vestry. Mr. Palmer. What a surprise and a pleasure. I was told you'd be here at the Hermitage. Taking a few pictures. So I gather. I've been making some inquiries about your practice in the States. Have you really? Apparently, you're quite a celebrity on the East Coast. You shouldn't believe everything you hear about me. Shouldn't I? Not even about you being paid $10 million for recovering the Getty Michelangelo? I was able to certify that it was genuine. The statue or the check? The papers do exaggerate. We talked to the FBI, and they confirmed the story. And so does the IRS. Oh, what do they have to say? 
They seemed to think that your income tax return was very conservative. Was that what the trouble in New York was all about? My lawyers are handling that little misunderstanding. Oh, I see. They take the heat while you're vacationing in Russia. That's right. And taking a few pictures just to pass the time. That's the plan. And meeting previous colleagues? No. No, I'm all alone. Really? Does the name Hans Schreiber ring a bell? Never heard of him. According to the FBI, he's a previous colleague of yours. Specializes in anesthesia. Did you know he's here in St. Petersburg? You mean Schreiber. Come to think of it, I did notice him in the Hermitage this morning. What about Yuri Stefanovich? Wasn't he at the nightclub the other evening? A local gangster, I believe. And Alex? He doesn't like you. How do you know? When I spoke with him, he asked about the state of your health. Professional opinion? He'd prefer you to be dead. And you? I'm a doctor, Mr. Palmer. I never break my Hippocratic oath. Oh, I am impressed. About these uh, paintings that you are planning to take, Dr. Vestry, I assume they're well insured. Of course. You wouldn't happen to know for how much. I represent a syndicate of wealthy art lovers. To them, a great masterpiece is priceless. Now, Mr. Palmer, if you don't mind, I really have to go. I've enjoyed this little interrogation. Perhaps we can continue it at a different time. Perhaps. Спокойно. Давай, поехали. Don't squash my bananas. Пошли, пошли. to see you. Release him. Let him go. I found it hard to refuse your invitation, Alex. What's in the bag, Harry? Bananas. You want one? Oh, 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 come on. My firm probably imported them. Still playing chess, I see. Only with a computer. It's a bigger challenge. Or to make sure you win. In the end, I always do. I suppose I owe you a visit. You owe me a lot more than that, Harry. What was it, four or five million dollars? I forgot. Forgetfulness, Alex, is the first sign of advancing age. In your case, that won't be a problem, will it? Yeah, I'm running up quite a tab here, aren't I? Since I am here, why don't you tell me what's going on? Why should I do that? It'll save time. I'll find out anyway. Who's working for you now? It's none of your business. Now, let's see. You've lost, uh... Natasha, you've lost Colonel Gretzky, Nick. You must have at least one beautiful girl on your team. Who is she, Alex? Why don't you ask Louis? Oh, I'm afraid poor old Louis is no longer around. Oh, really? Don't look so surprised, Alex. I get got off. Mm. That. Very nice. Sisters, look after me. Edith. Money buys anything in Russia today, Alex. Even for people like you. Does the piano player speak English? No. I know all about you and Vestry. You have a piece of his action. But what about the plutonium? Hmm? Where are you going to get the money to pay for that? Deadline, tomorrow night. A232, enriched plutonium. 
It was a very dangerous toy, Alex. A friend of mine played with two cramps, and he never played again. And neither will I. If you're going to try to interfere, Harry, I suggest you get some insurance. Life insurance. I can't afford the premium. I warned you, keep out of my affairs. You have so many affairs, Alex. I don't know where they begin or end. With you, there's no difficulty. It ends right here and now. Don't touch the bell. In our office in Moscow, Craig Warner and Colonel Gradsky have a computer which is full of information about you. And if they don't hear from me by midnight, it all goes to the police. Sorry to spoil your appetite, Alex. Get out. It's a pleasure. Петр Борисович, у вас телефон. Заварзин у телефона. If you want to see your daughter alive again, you must listen very carefully. Tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, you must leave the armatage with the paintings. You will be met by a man who's very dangerous. He is ready, if necessary, to kill you both, both you and your daughter. How shall I know she is still alive? By seeing her for yourself. When? Tomorrow morning. You'll be told where to go. Now wait for another message at home. Brandy! Nick! What are you doing here? Well, I'd gone by the theater and they said that Tatiana had called in sick. I was, I was a little worried about her. You won't find her at home. Get in the car. What's going on? That's 
it's her father. I think he knows where Tatiana is. Sounds like there's a story here. Well, we're certainly getting a first-rate tour of the city. Where the hell are they going? I wish I knew. The old St. Petersburg Film Studios. Uh, how are we going to get in? Actually. Press pass. Might work. Let's give it a try. Armed guards. I hope they're actors. Are you satisfied? You can see that she's uh, alive. Let her go. I'm not going to help you. Oh, I think that I could perhaps change your mind with the help of this uh, useful gadget. You know that a film studio can be a very dangerous place, especially for a ballerina. I think she may be retiring soon. Негодяй! Негодяй! Think about it. Drop the gun. Take him away. Put them someplace safe. Stay at. And feel down. For the sake of your daughter's health, get back to the Hermitage. Hmm? 
Let's go. Welcome to your new home. If all goes well, you may live to see tomorrow. shouldn't have trusted her. No matter what happens, I love you. I wish I could get my arms out of here. I could give you a big hug. <laughs> Let's see if we can try and get these things off. I thought you said noon. Harry, thank you for meeting me. What's the matter? Tatiana and now Nick. Harry, they've both disappeared. Well, Nick always disappears. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something going on here that, I mean, I don't understand it. Do you but... know a guy called Alex? Who's Alex? I thought you knew everybody. I was just wondering. Well, I'm just trying to help here. I mean, there's something that's... I think Alex knows you. What's with all the Alex stuff? We've got to find Nick, Harry. Any ideas? He had said something about, about the old film studios, a rendezvous at midnight. They must be working late. I'm going there later tonight. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go together? The two of us? I think we could make a great team together, Harry. Well, let me ask you something first. What's that? Are we both playing on the same side? Harry. Yeah, I hear you. I have some information for you. Uh, Nick wanted me to find out about a certain Hans Schreiber from Berlin. I've checked the KGB files on the old East German secret police, the Stasi. Hans Schreiber was one of the names used by one of the top agents in the old days. He specialized in military weapons and atomic warfare. Had a nasty habit of torturing and then liquidating his prisoners. The German authorities would love to talk to him. Present whereabouts? Unknown. And Harry? We haven't heard from Nick since last night. His room doesn't tell, sir. Watch out, Harry. Whoever is trying to buy that plutonium is playing with fire. And you could get burned. I can take care of myself. And look after Nick. I will. Bye-bye. Hopefully this will work. It does. Hopefully they'll stretch enough for me to get my hand out. But if it dries, it will be tighter than ever. We must be at the film studio before midnight. Where is Tatiana? Oh, I am keeping her till I am satisfied that the paintings are all here and you have kept your mouth shut. I must be sure that she is safe. Satisfy yourself. You're coming. And nobody is safe until this truck and its cargo reach Helsinki. Now let's go. Push me! Дамы и господа, вы собираетесь продолжить? Да, 
Вы продолжаете еду. Ваши ставки, пожалуйста. На красный пожалуйста, Мистер Пама. It's nearly midnight. Any news? I made some inquiries. Nothing to report. Does the name Hans Schreiber ring a bell? You used to have a lot of contacts with the Stasi. Hans Schreiber? I think I met him during the Moscow Olympics. He was in a East German team. What was his sport? Marksmanship. He won a silver medal. Oh, he's keeping in practice. Poor old Louis. Have you heard from him more recently? In fact, I'm doing him a small favor for a big reward, I trust. What's he doing now? He's in a film business, making a movie in Helsinki. Had problems with Russian customs. Needs to bring some props out of a film studio here. It's urgent. He wanted some papers to make sure there won't be any delays at the border. And you obliged? Why not? Was the shipment leaving tonight? So I understand that it's small stuff. Small stuff? What is the price of a thousand grams of enriched plutonium? He never said anything about plutonium. Plus the treasures of the Hermitage. Not for sale, for ransom. Five million bucks, give or take a million. A bastard? Yeah. I have an idea. Combined operation. Trust me. Come on, we gotta go. Here we are, everything in order. Все в порядке, проезжайте. Alex is expecting cash. It's a sight draft on the Chase Manhattan Bank. Well, he prefers cash. Five million dollars in cash. I need a trunk to carry it in. This isn't a drug deal. Well, I'll have to make a phone call about this. My understanding with Schreiber is first I get to inspect the paintings. He'll be here soon. And to guarantee their authenticity, he's bringing along with him the curator of the Hermitage. I don't want the curator to see me here. Well, then stay out of sight until we've disposed of him. Disposed? Well, we have to eliminate any witnesses. Nothing was mentioned to me about eliminating anybody. What about his daughter? Witness. And the young man, Nikolai? Another witness. But don't worry, it's already been arranged. Yeah, but nothing's been arranged with me. My understanding is clear. For $5 million, I get the paintings, and I'm free to negotiate with the insurance company. That's my line of business. Exactly, Dr. Vestry. And anything else is none of your business. Bistro, давай ке разгрушат. We should not be late. Don't worry, you won't miss the party. I gave my word. That's why I'm worried. Where is Tatiana? You wait here till we are ready. I must see her now. Wait inside. Where did you see me?
this way. Is that right, Dubai? Yes, sir. Did you see that, baby, dog? Быстрее, быстрее. Schreiber's just arrived, and uh, Dr. Vestry is now verifying the paintings. And Harry Palmer? Uh, he'll be coming. Don't you worry. You have the money. Just have to make sure they're not copies. Fyodor can vouch for them. I haven't brought you. No. No, that won't be necessary. The plutonium? Oh, hold on a minute. It's over there. We also have some other cargo. Surplus goods for disposal. I understand. You want them in the river with Harry Palmer. Troubles. How do you know it's the right place? It's the old studio. New owner, Alex. Bastard. He loves you too, Yuri. Your boys don't fool around. Do you have to examine every painting? Vestry's still authenticating the paintings, Alex. I'm satisfied. They're genuine. Good. I guess a plutonium. Not yet. I'm still talking to Alex. There's a small problem. How small? Five million dollars. He hasn't brought cash. Not a check. It's a side draft on a first class bank. It's as good as gold. Don't waste my fucking time. I'll speak to Alex. Listen. We've done the job. I want my plutonium. First, the money. I'm not sitting here waiting for a fucking check to clear. What's that? Seems as though the market and enriched plutonium is beginning to crash. Sorry, but I'm inclined to wait and see. Randy, what's happening? You've got your paintings. Give me the money. Dr. Vestry. Give me the draft. I'll take good care of it. I can't see why. If you put it that way. It's my money! Randy! Randy! I took a 
best of luck. Well, I think I will be going now. You don't leave until we get Fyodor. You can have him. Fyodor! Good career move. Well, can I go now? You don't think the papers from Stavanovich are going to get you across the border, do you? I'll get back to Helsinki. I have ways to get across. Then I could use the lift. Gustav, Igor, we are going What about me? You. You'd better leave by the back way. Papa! Then you should back. by your hospitality, and I would like to propose a toast to Harry Palmer and Associates. Cheers. Cheers. Could I have a bill, please, Andre? No, Mr. Palmer. It's been paid already. Oh? Who paid it? The gentleman over there, General Kornikov. Would you ask him if he'd like to join us? General Kornikov paying the bill. He's changed his tune. <laughs> Mr. Palmer, we have foiled an attempt by a gang of international criminals to steal the treasures from the Hermitage. Oh, where are the treasures now? They are safely back in the Hermitage. We have also recovered almost 1,000 grams of enriched plutonium stolen from government storage. And what about the thieves? In custody. Save for two who are trying to escape to Finland. Schreiber and Brandy. They shall not escape. Well, Mr. Palmer, introduce me to your friends. Well, you, you know Fyodor and Nick. This is Tatiana, Fyodor's daughter. Dobry vecher. I'm charmed. This is Dr. Vestry. General Kornikov, chief of the St. Petersburg police. Glad to meet you, General Kornikov. You're American? Yes. I'm just here to... Enjoy myself. I did hope to take some pictures, but uh, didn't turn out the way I wanted. You were overexposed. By the way, Mr. Palmer, we knew about the plan from the very beginning. A triangular deal. Paintings to cash, and cash to plutonium. We knew about the plan, but not the players. Well done, General. Mm, thank you. Good night, gentlemen. Lady. I wonder if he really did pay for dinner. I think the city paid for that. Theodore has an announcement to make. I've been informed of an unexpected gift for the restoration of the Hermitage Museum. The donor wishes to remain anonymous. The amount, five million dollars. Fantastic. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, Dr. Vestry. To St. Petersburg. To St. Petersburg. Petersburg.
Thank you.